Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I want to show you my go to spinning rods that I like to use for inshore fishing. And I use these rods for throwing artificials, and at the same time, I'll use the same rod for throwing out live bait and even cut bait really big pieces of cut bait for big redfish. And those rods are the Calico Jack rods made by Hurricane. If you've heard of the red bone rods made by Hurricane, these are a step down from those rods. Uh, the red bones go for about 100 bucks a piece, and these go for anywhere from 50 to $60 depending on where you purchase them from. And you can even find them on sale a lot of the time at uh, sporting goods stores for 30 or 40 bucks. So really inexpensive rod. Um, I don't like to go too expensive with fishing rods just because I fish from a kayak and a paddle board. And if one goes overboard, it doesn't hurt that much if I have to replace it. So I definitely like to go with the cheaper rods. And on the cheaper end, this Calico Jack has been by far uh, the best rod that I've used compared to some others out there. So again, these rods are very strong, very durable. Um, the specs on these is a line weight from 10 to 20 pounds. Um, I've exceeded that. I've used 30 and 40 pound line on these rods. I actually used to uh, use these rods when bass fishing. And when bass fishing, I would use a lot heavier braid just because you're pulling fish out of grass and structure and logs and docks and all that stuff. So I've used a lot heavier braid than it recommends for the rod and it's still held up. Also the lure weight recommended is 3 8 to 1 ounce. I've used anything from a 1 16th ounce weighted hook all the way up to big one and a half to two ounce egg sinkers with a large piece of uh, cut mullet on there which adds to the weight and have never had one of these rods break. Now, I've also pulled in numerous redfish over 40 inches big 20 to 30 pound redfish on these rods with no problem fights them very well very strong backbone and just an all-around awesome rod. Now, if you want to see how this rod stacks up to uh, different rods, then you'll definitely want to check out our Salt Strong Insider Club. We do product reviews on there. We will review um, numerous different types of products side by side and tell you what we like and what we don't like about some of those products. Now, remember, we're not sponsored by any companies, so we're going to tell you how it is. If we don't like it, we'll tell you. If we do like it, we'll tell you. And especially with these rods, again, I'm not sponsored by this company. These are what I've been using for about two years now on my own, and I love them. So definitely, if you're in the market for a new spinning rod, don't want to break the bank, check out the Calico Jack rods made by Hurricane. So that will wrap up this video on the Calico Jack rod made by Hurricane. 
If you are in the market for a new rod and you're not trying to break the bank, I highly recommend these rods. Again, I've been using them for about two years now and haven't had a problem at all. Of course, you'll occasionally get that breakage if you misuse them, put them in your truck, slam the door on them, put them in the ceiling fan, stuff like that. But as long as you take care of them, they will last a very long time. So definitely check them out. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And be sure to check out our Salt Strong Insider Club so you can see more reviews on numerous products, numerous rods and reels, and also catch more fish in less time. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.